has been Wealth Creation and Preservation with your host, Barry Kay, brought to you by Barry Kay Associates. If you would like additional information on today's program, please call 1-800-662-5433 or 1-213-203-5433. There is a Salisbury, Maryland, the hungry are being fed. In Wind Falls, Indiana, a man who learned to read at 47 is making sure others learn earlier. In Hope, New Mexico, people turned an abandoned school into a thriving community center. In Boston, Massachusetts, neighbors set up a crime hotline that's making their streets safer. From Seattle, to Galveston, from Buffalo to Fargo, every day, someone in America is doing something to light up another life. But there is so much more to do. The light to do it is within us all. We only need to share it. Contact the Points of Light Foundation. Do something good. Feel something real. KWHY-TV, the business channel's financial market coverage, is believed to be from reliable sources. However, no responsibility by this station is assumed for inaccuracies. No statements made on these broadcasts are to be construed as recommendations by this station, nor does this station necessarily endorse the products, services, opinions, or information presented. A continued good day to you. The time now, 9.30. I'm Laura Gregory, and in the business headlines at this hour, Citicorp says it is not considering making new loans to South Africa. A deal between Delta Airlines and Pan Am and California's largest uh, union is threatening to go on strike. That's the largest employees union. The blue chips, meanwhile, posting some slight gains while the broad market maintains a firm tone at midday. Very directionless trade today and very choppy. The blue chips bouncing higher at the opening on some program buying, but a lack of any follow-through has induced some investors to take some profits at this point. The traders and the analysts say that uh, futures-related buying and selling is the dominating factor today, as many individual investors stay out of this market amid second quarter earnings concerns. Let's take a look at the numbers from the street as we head toward midday trade. The Dow at 29.46.11, that's up 112. The transports higher by 124, and the utilities up 101, uh, make that 113. The tick in New York, a plus 78, and the volume is 82.8 million shares so far. On the American exchange, the stock's down 0.64, and this is on volume of, let's see, that's uh, 5 million. The NASDAQ composite is down 0.13, and MS composite down 0.03. Bonds in September, still higher and strong by 10.30 seconds. That's where they started today at 93.03. The bills for September are back to no change at 94.43. August gold is trading lower by $2.30. August light crude is down 8 cents, and the dollar index for September, a plus 0.82. Citicorp, the nation's largest bank, is not considering making new loans to South Africa at this time. The bank has declined to explain why it's still unwilling to make new loans. The statement follows President Bush's announcement yesterday that he is lifting U.S. economic sanctions against South Africa. California's largest state employees union is threatening to strike if state paychecks are delayed or reduced this month before negotiations are completed on new contracts. The head of the California State Employees Association Civil Service Division says that the Wilson administration is refusing to bargain in good faith. The union represents 78,000 workers. The current vice president of marketing at AT&T's Computer Systems has accepted the position of senior vice president for the newly created NCR Network Products Group. William O'Shea's move is the first organizational appointment in the consolidation of NCR and AT&T Computer Systems. It becomes effective on August 1st. The new group is going to be responsible for all NCR Network products. Pan Am has reached an agreement to sell Delta Airlines a package of Pan Am assets, price tag $260 million. Those assets include its New York to Europe routes, the Frankfurt operations, and its Miami, London, Detroit, London routes, and the Pan Am shuttle. 
Delta is also going to offer jobs to about 6,000 Pan Am employees and provide $70 million in debtor in possession financing. And the folks uh, are uh, already lining up at the Griffith Observatory this morning to watch this morning's partial eclipse of the sun. The eclipse starts at 10:12 a.m. throughout most of Southern California, and it peaks a few minutes before 11:30 here in Los Angeles. 69% of the sun is going to be covered at the height of this eclipse. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. There won't be another eclipse period this long until the year 2137. And remember, your mama always told you not to look into the eyes of the sun, so be sure and get yourself some special protecto things. But they say that is where the fun is. We're going to be talking commodities as soon as we come back. Stay with us. The Dow stocks are, uh, well, they're higher, 246 right now. Let's take a look at what's happening with the commodities as we head towards midday trade. We are showing interest rate futures. The bonds in September in the plus by 1030 seconds at 9303. The bills in September are no change at 9443. And the September euro dollar is a plus 0.02. On the metals markets, August gold is trading lower by $2.30 at $368.90 an ounce. Silver in September is down $0.05 cents at $4.41.5 an ounce. And platinum for July is down $5 at $374.50. High-grade copper in July is a negative 0.3. Palladium in September down $0.45 cents at $94.75 an ounce. Index futures show the S&P 500 for September a negative 0.55. July maxi down 0.35 and the value line for September is down 0.2. Knife in September down 0.1. The Commodity Research Bureau for September is a negative 0.6 and the dollar index in September is a plus 0.82. On the currencies market, the Deutsche Mark in September is down 0.59 opposite the American dollar. Japanese yen in September is a negative 0.0001 and the British pound for September is down 148. Swiss franc in September down 0 0.071. Canadian dollar in September down 0 0.09. And the Aussie dollar bucks the trend and is higher opposite the American dollar by 0 0.05. Light crude in August is lower by 8 cents now at 21.35 a barrel. Gasoline in August is down 0 0.0001. Heating oil, the August contract, a negative 0.08. January 92 natural gas is a plus 0.043. Wheat in December on the grains markets, a negative 275. Corn in December is down one full point, and oats for September in the plus by 125. Soy oil on the grains complex continuing. The December contract is a negative 0.1. Meal in December down 0.9. And beans for November a negative 275. August cattle on the meat markets a plus 0.675. And feeder cattle for August a plus 0.675 as well. Live hogs in August plus 0.225. And bellies for August a plus 0.45. Cotton in December is higher by 0.38. Lumber in September is a plus 0.3. Coffee in September down 0.2 and sugar in October is a plus 0.01. Cocoa, the September contract, a plus 0.08 and September OJ is higher by 0.55. As you saw, the dollar is surging, uh, and in Europe, it's up two fennings. This is after a Bundesbank decision not to raise interest rates and a strong set of weekly jobs numbers in this country, triggering a torrent of stop-loss buying. One trader says a number of U.S. funds have been selling dollars for the last 48 hours, and they had to do some serious stop-loss buying when the booba and the jobs figures pushed the dollar through 182.10 marks. 
German economist uh, minister, he's an economics minister, Jürgen Molman, said that the Bundesbank's decision on M3 was a reflection of concern about inflation and a desire to maintain price stability. But Finance Minister Theo Weigel emphasized the M3 move did not signal a change in the central bank monetary policy at this time. The Dow stocks higher by one and a half points. And keep in mind, don't look into the eyes of the sun. Stay with us. A message from the Consumer Information Center in Pueblo, Colorado. If you'd like to give your house some minor tweaks, fix up bootsy beansy leaks, run a shop that's all your own, buy yourself a cozy home, steer away from crummy deals, protect your car from roof to wheels, trim your tummy, thighs, and hips, go on safe, exotic trips. Stay away from hacks and quacks. Blow away those sneeze attacks. Teach your kids the ABCs. How to write and how to read. Get rid of little pests that bug you. Ones that crawl or buzz above you. Bag the junk food in your diet. Know what's inside before you buy it. Bank on stocks and count on bonds. Stay away from market cons. Then you'll want this free and helpful book listing 200 government pamphlets. Look, for this new edition, just drop a line. Write new catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Flying to over 30 destinations in Europe, Pan Am is pleased to announce its newest service to Barcelona, Hamburg, Lisbon, Oslo, and Zagreb. We're number one to Europe and flying better than ever. The following is a paid commercial program. The Business Channel continues now with Hotline Report, brought to you by Cornerstone Financial. Now here is Perspectives on Profit with your host, Daniel Dubois. Good morning, this is Dan Dubois with Perspectives on Profit. Well, right now, most smart investors are searching for an alternative to the 6 to maybe 7% interest rates that are currently offered on CDs or other safety-oriented investments, such as money markets or treasuries. The problem you have now is that rates are the lowest they've been in almost four years, and with taxes for most Californians at 30 to 40%, your net return is more like 3 to 5% on your CD. So if you currently have CDs, treasuries, or money markets, I encourage you to take a look at today's Guaranteed Return Annuities, or GRAs. GRAs are just like bank CDs in that the interest rate is guaranteed and your principal is fixed. However, in a GRA, your interest rate is typically 1 to 2 percentage points higher than the bank CD. Plus, and perhaps more importantly, the interest earned in the GRA is going to compound free from current income tax and that can make your funds grow 30 to 40 percent faster because until you elect to receive income, your earnings won't be taxed on either the federal, state, or local levels. So safety of principal, higher interest, plus tax-deferred compounding, that's what GRAs can provide. Now, as an investor, you're free to work with any of over 2,500 different insurance companies that offer annuities. It's through years of research that we've identified, and we currently offer plans from only the top 40 companies in the country. Now, as an example, today we can get you an 8.7% return, and that does include our 1% bonus on any deposit that you make. The company is rated A-plus superior with AMBEST, which is the top safety rating available. They're also double A-plus with Standard & Poor's, double A-plus with Duff & Feltz, and they're found on the exclusive recommended list of the Weiss Insurance Safety Directory. So, again, your earnings here are going to equal 8.7% with 100% guarantee of principal. There's no market risk and no taxes or 1099s until you decide to withdraw the earnings. Also, there's no initial sales charge or any other administrative fees. 100% of your funds start earning interest, and they're going to keep earning interest, but best of all, your return here is guaranteed and tax deferred. However, most of you are probably aware there are some financially troubled companies in the insurance industry today, so it's important to know that your company is sound. If you currently own an annuity or an insurance policy, 
and you'd like an evaluation of how your current company ranks in terms of safety and performance, we'll be happy to give you a free analysis, including details on how you can do a tax-free upgrade into a better plan like uh, this top-rated 8.7% plan I just mentioned. You'll want to ask us whether your current company has high junk bond holdings or bad real estate investments, and we'll also extend to you our computerized safety watch program, which will provide you with updates on an ongoing basis should your current company ever be downgraded in the future. Also, please tune in today at 2 o'clock this afternoon here on the Business Channel when we'll be talking further at length about how to evaluate an insurance company and how you can guarantee high rates, safety, and tax... Looking for a simple back-to-basics solution? A secure way to achieve your financial objectives on high guaranteed interest, current income, guaranteed safety of principle, and tax-advantaged solutions? then you owe it to yourself to talk with the experts at Cornerstone Financial to obtain free of charge the special report How to Guarantee Profits Through Tax-Advantaged Investing. Call Dan Dubois or Brian Fisk at 1-800-848-8323. That's 1-800-848-8323. Cornerstone Financial, your foundation for financial freedom. Securities offered through Titan Value Equities Group, a registered broker-dealer, member of NASD, and Securities Investor Protection Corporation. 1-800-848-8323. This has been Perspectives on Profit with your host, Daniel Dubois, brought to you by Cornerstone Financial. The preceding was a paid commercial program. I'm Bill O'Neill, founder of Investors Daily. And I'm so convinced that once you try Investors Daily, you won't be able to do without it. We'll send you two weeks of the paper for free, plus an audio tape explaining the exclusive features in Investors Daily. Call now to get business news you can't find anywhere else. If you call now, Investors Daily will send you a free two-week subscription. You'll also receive a free audio tape, a guide to Investors Daily. Call now, 1-800-767-3100. That's 1-800-767-3100. The following is a paid commercial program with the guests paying a fee for their appearance. For an update on what's new in products and services from the business world, here's the executive report. Good morning and welcome to executive report as we say aloha to Kathy Kelly again, just back from Maui. Kathy's with FGL Commodity Services in Playa del Rey. Good aloha, Glenn. Love that lay. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, I guess if you're working 14-hour days regularly like you do and uh, grinding, 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 That's it's, right. it's nice to get away yeah. from the change. Well, especially when the markets are running, you have to grind away. All right. Uh, before you left, Kathy, you were talking quite a bit about the currencies and uh, what you expect them to do. How have they been for performing? Gosh, today, uh, my first day back, uh, I was gone just for a couple of days uh, while the markets were moving. The dollar is way up today. I think it's 60-something against the Deutschmark and maybe 80-something against the Swiss franc. Today, the Swiss franc broke to the downside, the major technical support, and I'm looking for probably a 300-point break further on that. For those uh, people who are in, they are in probably in some steep profits, and I'm looking for quite a bit more move down in that. The dollar this morning, Glenn, is uh, up further and it broke through the 182 level as KWHY was reporting earlier I heard and uh, once more that was following the report that the Bundesbank has injected reserves into the banking system a lot more aggressively and uh, it's kind of give the, given a mixed signal it's put a lot of pressure on the on the Deutschmark so that's what's happening in Germany and uh, the Swiss franc has really broken some big technicals on here and I did bring the charts to show you that the piece in Yugoslavia is about the only thing and it's a three-day piece so uh, I'm not getting too excited about a three-day piece, although I'm sure that they are. Uh, that has slowed the move down a little bit. While we're going into the G7 meeting, uh, we are going to have a pause in the currency markets, although today it did not look like it. However, I would like again to point out something I pointed out about a week ago about the moon. This solar eclipse, in my opinion, uh, and I have traded this and seen uh, hints of this over the years, when the moon does something spectacular, a market that's moving in a certain direction is almost like the charts. It will continue to technically pursue uh, its direction for, for quite a long time afterwards. And Bill Ng, who has done a, a big report and a big study on this, 
and I'm, I'm following that. And it looks like the currencies are really going to keep moving to the downside. The British pound even is called. They should lower the rates there. The British pound is called down. All of them are. All right, we'll have a chance to look at the Swiss franc uh, chart a little bit later, Kathy. But first of all, we had a big event yesterday from the White House as President Bush uh, renominated the Federal Reserve Board Chairman Alan Greenspan for another four-year term. What right. impact will that have on the dollar? Um, the, the basic thing about Greenspan is that the Greenspan recovery that we're going supposedly into now, everyone says we're coming out of the recession, but there's been a lackluster response in, in all of our markets, basically. The dollar does not come down, which uh, it, it could and it should, and it may be this and that with the rest of the markets, but it doesn't, and that even is, is more of a bullish, a bullish uh, remark on that. The White House says that the recession is over, and yet they were smart enough to realize, even though they delayed his reappointment, which did hurt us a little bit uh, in the last couple of days in the dollar, Brady and Congress are afraid of inflation and the, and the price of a recovery they think is inflation. So uh, not appointing Greenspan in here would have been uh, meaning that the markets would have pursued several months looking to see, you know, what were they going to keep the rates high, were they going to push them up. And some analysts think this would have pushed us into a double recession, uh, double dip. Uh, myself, I feel we will hit a double dip recession, and I think the commodity prices are really showing that, Glenn. Uh, commodity prices, grains have been battered here lately. What is the relationship yes. between the currencies and the grains? Oh, that's a, a great question. Uh, the relationship between the currencies and the grains is basically that uh, in the past, when the currencies have taken such a heavy hit as they have since last, uh, since this March and April and have been moving down steadily and paying very big in the futures, uh, the grain markets will come down straight behind those within uh, several months. We usually have the oat market which leads, and uh, that made a big fall and is re rallying back up now. However, right behind it, soybeans tanked last week, corn tanked, uh, the wheat is going down, although I'm not trading that. And we saw a lot of activity in the grains to the downside here. Uh, cotton, boy. One of my favorite trades that I've made here uh, is really moved down and is included in that batch. Grain contract prices plummeted on some weather forecasts, and they went down to, it looks like uh, the soybeans were down at 518 and 3 quarters. Uh, they haven't been there since 1987. So I th I'm looking to see all the commodity prices come down behind currencies, and it, it basically uh, connects Glenn to the uh, situation where you have some world recession, world deflation, it's a credit crunch. There's not enough money out there to purchase all these grains, and that's a part of the fundamental news on it. All right, we're going to swing our camera around here, Kathy, so our viewers can see for themselves what you've been talking about in the way of the numbers and how the charts have been performing. All right. start as we go with the currencies again in the Swiss franc, which has been in a downtrend for quite a while. Yes. So tell yes. us about the price. All right. Uh, may we have the charts? Thank you. Uh, this is a, a daily Swiss franc chart, and it shows that <clears throat> in the, I've written it very small here, the breakout. The breakout appeared right here. It happened uh, in the last week or so. This is the Swiss franc, and, and at, at the top of the chart, could you please give this a little bit larger? I just want to show what a dramatic move on the day this has made. Down 83 points. Futures, 100 point pays $1,250. This is an 83 out of 100 point move in one day. Uh, this, this shows the breakout that we already had. The, the thing right now uh, is trading around 62.50, uh, just up a little bit from here where it broke. This, this is the Swiss franc chart. I have been trading currencies to the downside. They have paid, actually, Glenn. 500% uh, since March. I mean, nobody gets the full piece, and you, you can get hit here or there, and uh, past performance doesn't guarantee future. However, I still think we're in a very bearish trend in the currencies. On the grain markets, if we could go back to the charts. Here we go with cotton. Yeah, with, All right. with cotton. The cotton market has been a very nice paying contract. By the way, also, you can trade these in options and limit your risk as well as futures. The breakout occurred in this area here. Now, we've already broken down here. The downside objective 
is 46 cents. The cotton pays $500 on a point move. The, the close is below 70.25 as I, as I report down here at the bottom. Close is below 70.25 would confirm the double top objective of 46 cents. The, the, the time frame for this could be uh, 12 to 18 months. However, this, this move in here could be taking place at any time. I'm looking for seven points. A seven point drop there is going to pay $3,500. That's a very nice move. This is my, my newest trade, is the soybean meal. I just got in it last week to the downside. Friday, I believe the, the options cost uh, were $500 premium and cost $800 by the time the market had closed. So that was really probably the best buying day, although it's not too late to, to trade it. All this, right, let's look at it. Okay, real quickly here. 169, 149, 132. We're looking for 30 point move. Oh gosh, that's a $15,000 move. All right, Kathy, uh, we want to thank you for being with us on Executive Report again. Kathy Kelly Thanks, from Glenn. FGL Commodity Services in Playa del Rey. The phone number's on the screen. Give Kathy a call. Aloha. You have been watching Executive Report, an update on what's happening with new products and services from the business world. If you desire additional information on today's program or would like to appear on Executive Report, please call us at 213-466-5441. The preceding has been a paid commercial program with the guests paying a fee for their appearance. No responsibility by this station is assumed for inaccuracies. No statements made on the preceding program are to be construed as recommendations by this station, nor does this station necessarily endorse the products, services, opinions, or information presented. The host of Executive Report has been paid a fee by the guests for